uh, decolonization is inherently violent. If an uprising is what it takes to free the people of Palestine, that's what it takes. It's just, it's just as simple as that. Yeah, I think people just need to wake up, take some action. We say to our leaders, it's about the time to take action too. Hamas has been designated as a terrorist organization, but Israel hasn't. You know, Israel's. Do you think Israel should be designated as a terrorist organization? Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, right? <laughs> so, what's your opinion on the current situation in Israel and Palestine? Well, I think the um, occupation that Israel has been conducting basically since its inception, 1948. I think it's the natural sort of conclusion of uh, 80 years of uh, colonialism and then later apartheid within the existing Israeli territories. I think the armed resistance that has been conducted by several Palestinian groups, I think it is very much chickens coming home to roost sort of situation. It wouldn't happen if there wasn't a backdrop of that sort of uh, colonial and quite brutal colonial history that has been conducted by Israel. So do you think Hamas is justified in what they're doing at the moment or would you condemn their actions? Uh, so I wouldn't specifically say I condone the specific group Hamas because that's illegal in this country now. But I, don't th I think uh, the Palestinians as a people have a right to resist in whatever method they specifically see as useful. I don't think, with specific things like indiscriminate killing of civilians, I don't know how useful that is. I certainly wouldn't say I'm pro that. Uh, although it, I, on a purely tactical basis, I don't know how useful I would say it is. And I, I wouldn't condemn it either. I think uh, decolonization is inherently violent. Uh, the way you get around that is you don't colonize, basically. It's uh, chickens coming home to roost, like I said. While Hamas, definitely, there has been, uh, there's not much restraint in the way they act. They aren't a uh, military in the same way that the IDF is. But in that sense, they, I think they are held, the IDF has to be held to a higher standard if they are supposedly a Western military with their rules of engagement. Do you see any possible solution for the region? Uh, not that can be uh, conducted peacefully, I don't think. I don't think Israel wants to conduct something peacefully. The Palestinians don't have a choice. I think um, what, what had been going on before was a very slow destruction of the state of Palestine. What is now going on is a very quick one. I don't think, uh, I, I think basically it comes to successful armed resistance from the Palestinians or nothing, or there will be no Palestine left. I think the closest we will have to a solution if the Israelis win is what the Israelis think of a solution, which is the destruction of the state of Palestine. I don't think there's going to be a peaceful solution anytime soon that doesn't involve some sort of genocide or displacement. And it's just, it's such a complicated issue. But the reality of it is that Israel is a colonist power. And I would think that Palestine really does deserve to be free. <laughs> like, it's just... In what no way could you it. see it being free as such? I would think the best way to go about it is really, like... Uh, is really just the dissolution of Israel. Honestly, it's something that... I really hope gets sorted out soon, but in the grand scheme of things, I think people just really need to research their history. They really need to look into it and see that in so many cases, in practically every other case, Israel is in the wrong. I'm not condoning the fact that there's so much violence going on by so many different groups on both sides of the conflict, but the reality is the reality is, is the Palestinian people are fighting for themselves. And so long as they get their freedom that they've been fighting for like over 75 years or roughly 75 years, uh, until they get that, they aren't going to be like as focused on the fact of who's leading the charge. So obviously there's very like... Uh, so would you say that Hamas are justified in what they're doing then? Well, in terms of their goal to free Palestine from Israel control, yes. But in terms of uh, the actions of violence that are going on, obviously not because violence overall it is not a way to achieve the like means that you need but if an uprising is what it takes to free the people of Palestine that's what it takes it's just it's just as simple as that we've had cases of um, uprisings before specifically in things like uh, Vietnam my dream solution is that the Western powers like the UK government like the US government and several others they all come together and realize that they made a mistake in authorizing the creation of such a state and for basically being uh, the reason that so much death is going on in that region and that every, everything, every ideology has basically been hypercharged by their involvement. It's simple as that, I think. So what's your opinion on the Israel-Palestine conflict? Um, well, it's obviously a horrible situation. Um, I do feel like the media is representing a false narrative with Israel. In, in what sense? in terms of like how long the conflict has been going on. Um, but I mean, 
and like now with the the terrorist group coming in and like just pushing that forward that story forward instead of like all the atrocities that's been happening over the years you know um, but I can't I'm not too educated I guess and so would you say you condemn the way in which Israel's acted yeah yeah I would say that and so um, Hamas is on the other side would you condemn them as well or say they're justified um, always, that's a tricky question because um, obviously they it's horrible what they did as well but um, it's hard to say if that's justified through for all the years of like damage that's happened in in Palestine because of Israel so you men mentioned obviously condemnation of Israel can you name any of the atrocities which said they've committed I couldn't name any off the top of my head but I, I just know that they've been just pushing the board I mean from what I've been told so it's not it's not a, a full you know but um, they've just been pushing on the border for like the last like forever pretty much the Holy Land as such um, but yeah that's it really I don't really know so what's your opinion on the Israel Palestine conflict at the moment so the first thing I want to say I'm a Palestinian myself and I think the terminology of conflict is wrong because a conflict just denotes that there's an equal side you know both states both countries have same kind of weapons same stuff but it's actually don't they actually don't uh, this has been going on for 75 years I think the world it's about time they're waking up to it it didn't just happen two weeks ago or you know suddenly you know they said oh why don't we do something about it you know 75 years ago my granddad was expelled from his country he had to leave there's been genocide and massacres um, yeah I think people just need to wake up take some action we say to our leaders it's about the time to take action too Hamas has been designated as a terrorist organization but Israel hasn't you know Israel's do you think Israel should be designated as a terrorist organization well, if the shoe fits wear it right <laughs> You know, um, it doesn't matter how much funding they receive from the U.S. government or any Western government. You know, people say it's a Western outpost. Whatever your opinion is, if you are a nation state and you want to be recognised as a sovereign state, that doesn't give you a right to kill innocent people, cut off food and water to people who won't receive it from anywhere else, or you know, attack any aid given to these people. An open air prison it doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't matter where they're from, it doesn't matter what their lineage is, it doesn't matter who their ancestors are. You know, they have a right to live where they stand. You can't just kill them because you, you know, disagree with their existence. I, I don't agree with how the European settlers came to Palestine. You know, Europe didn't want them. They were welcomed in Palestine. People love to, I don't know, everyone's wrong at this point. Who's right, you know? I think that the, the atrocities of what's going on in Palestine right now are unspeakable. So would you then condemn or justify Israel's response to the current terror attack? I feel, again, that it's very complicated. It does seem to me that it seems a bit out of proportion, uh, given the power and the presence they already have over that area uh, and the situations, the relative inequities in terms of Israel's resources versus what Gaza has, and Gaza being essentially the prisoners of Israel. So do you think Hamas are then justified in what they're doing at the moment? I don't really want to address justification, um, frankly, but uh, as always, when, with an act of war, there's a retaliatory response. Uh, as I said, it seems to me that Israel's response was perhaps out of proportion. Um, again, this particular incident has to be considered within the larger context of the Israel-Palestine long-standing uh, conflict and standoff. So I think it's quite complicated and difficult to sum up in a few words. So firstly, do we have your consent for the interview? Yes, we do, yes. Fantastic. Right, before we start, could I get your consent for the interview? Yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. Ron? Uh, first of all, do we have your consent for the interview? Uh, you have my consent. Fantastic. So, first of all, do we have your consent for the interview? Yeah, you have my consent. Thank you. So, firstly, do we have your consent for the interview? Yes, you do. Fantastic. Do we have your consent for the interview? Yes, you have my consent. Excellent. 